Hey everyone, Mike here from Clear Brands Growth. Welcome back to part five of my step-by-step -step website makeover. So far we've taken this um, example website um, from being unclear uh, and confusing and not necessarily encouraging people to become a lead um, through multiple steps. So first step was to ch make changes to the top of the header and that included um, adding, a, uh, adding a description of the business underneath the logo, um, decluttering the website navigation, and then adding a clear call to action. We then moved on to um, adapting the copy in the, the center of the header, so making the, the headline and sub um, heading more compelling um, and actually giving people a reason to become a lead. We also repeated the call to action underneath the headline and subheading just to make sure that people knew how to do business with us. Uh, in today's um, transformation, we are looking at the bottom of the header, which is and adding something called the value stack. We are going to look at the, the background and also we're going to add a secondary call to action. So here is the mock up of that. So you can see it's quite a big difference, um, especially just making changes to the, the background. So we've obviously kept the, the headline as the, the, the top of the header the same. I've kept the, the copy the same and obviously the, the call to action is the same, but I've just moved it to the, the left the left hand side of the header. Um, I basically removed that sort of random image of skyscrapers. Um, it had nothing to do with um, my business, so it had nothing to do with website lead generation. I have decided to use a picture of myself. Um, some of you might have seen this from a previous previous video thumbnails. Um, I just want to make my brand right now a bit more personal, uh, and because I am a relatively small business, most people will deal with me. So I just want to make um, sure that they're aware of you know who I am and um, who they'll be talking to. So that's one option you've got when it comes to images. Um, if you're not comfortable or confident with having a sticky picture of yourself on your website, um, then just make sure you use a picture of some happy, smiley people. Um, ideally, those happy, smiley people will be um, customers that have worked with you in the past. So it gives new potential leads um, kind of a visualization of where they'll be in the future. So if, if they can see you know, happy, smiley people, um, as a result of working with you, then that kind of helps set the scene for them to then, you know, kind of think about how they'll feel after they work with you. Um, it hasn't got to be actual pictures to your customers, just people um, that look like they're in your, that are sort of in a, in a situation that is, is related to, to what you do. Um, I've also added what I call a value stack. So let me just move this out of the way for a sec. So basically it's three, th three benefits um, that you provide um, your clients or customers. Um, just three very sort of easy to understand, quick to read phrases. So I've just put for me, attract your ideal customers, capture more leads, grow your business. Three things um, that are obviously very easy to understand. Um, they're what people want um, and just sort of like I said, people quickly scan websites these days, so just make sure it's really easy to read. I've also added a secondary call to action, which is this download a free guide. Um, this is basically a, a link to your lead magnet. So a lead magnet is something you give away for free uh, in exchange for someone's email address. Once you've got their email address, you can then send them follow-up emails that sort of nurtures them over time. Um, so if they're not ready to become a customer when they first land on your website, then you know eventually they may become a customer because you have you know continued to pro provide value, and that's purely based on the fact that the majority of people that land on your website won't be ready to become a customer. So if you can capture their details and sort of continue the conversation away from your website um, and not just waste the opportunity because they are they are interested in your in your services or products because they've landed on your website, so don't waste that opportunity to you know continue to connect with them. So that is day or part five um, of the step-by-step um, -step website makeover. We have um, we've, we've changed the we've changed the background 
of the header to either make it more um, uh, less, or I guess, le more relevant, or at least more um, appealing and more welcoming. Because I put my face on there, or just use some, you know, happy, smiley people that could be customers. We've added a three-point value stack along the bottom of the header, and we've also included a secondary call to action to capture the email addresses of people that are interested in your pro products and services but aren't quite ready to become a customer right now so that you can follow up with them later on. Um, in tomorrow's video, so part six or the, the sixth, um, sixth episode of this website transformation, I'm just going to recap all the points that I've, I've gone through um, so that you can tick them off and make sure that you have implemented them. So have a great rest of your day. Uh, and until I see you tomorrow, get clear and take action.